Hello and welcome back. So I got a request from a Kriti Gorov here, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, and she wants to know more about the navigation drawer. Alright, so that's what we're going to be doing in this one. So open up your terminal and if you don't already have Kiwi Garden, simply pip3 or pip install kiwi-garden. Alright, after installing garden, Simply install the navigation drawer, that will be garden install navigation drawer, just like that, and you should have a navigation drawer usable by Kiwi now. Alright, so now we can go to our Visual Studio Code installation, create a new file, call this one navdemo.py, and in here, I'll just start with this and create a new class called navdemo. And since we're going to be using a nav demo, we need to import it. And we're also going to be using some buttons for demonstration. So .uix .button. We are going to import the button class. Alright, now from kiwi.uix.label, we are going to import the label class. Alright, finally, we are going to import our navigation drawer now so from kiwi.garden dot navigation drawer we want to import the navigation drawer class all right so navigation drawer just like that and i'll actually alias this because it's too long so as nd and now down here on our box layout we don't need a box layout now. We're going to be using our navigation drawer because this works as a layout. All right. So now down here, we are going to start adding our content. So the navigation drawer needs at least two widgets. All right. The first widget you add to a navigation drawer is always going to be the panel. The second widget you add is always going to be the content for your navigation drawer layout. All right. So we'll simply call this one menu equal to a box layout and the orientation for this is going to be vertical. All right. So now that we have our menu, let's add some buttons and since I'm being lazy, I'll just generate these and I'll just generate about four widgets. All right. And I'll simply say if X is not equal to three then i want to add a button so i'll just say item is equal to a button and the text for this button is going to be button and whatever x is so the string of x all right so let's size our button size underscore hint underscore y is equal to none the height is about 35 all right else if we are at the last widget then instead of adding a button i want to add a spacer label so label the text for this is going to be nothing all right so now that we have all of our widgets we can simply add them to our menu so to add widget what do you want to add i want to add the item all right now we have our menu panel the next thing we need is our content now so content is equal to a box layout orientation is equal to vertical all right now that we have our content just because we can let's just add a label and the text for this label is going to be equal to nav demo all right now let's add a button here equal to a button the text for this button is going to be well why not subscribe and the size hint y is going to be equal to none the height now is going to be 35 now that we have our content let's add it to our content so dot add widget add the label copy this paste it down here instead of the label here let's add the button Control S to save. So now we have our full content and our menu. So remember, I said the first thing you add to your nav is always going to be the panel. So we'll simply say self. So add widget, and now let's add our menu panel. 
all right paste this down here and now the next thing we're going to add is obviously our content control s to save let's go down here in python 3 we call this one now demo.py run this and we have a problem right here we need yep control s to save let's try to run it again and here we go let's swipe and we have our nav our navigation menu right here all right so as you can see when you resize when you swipe here you also affect this all right so you can fix that one by simply going up here and saying self dot and the navigation drawer comes with a property called anim type all right and now anim type we are going to set it to slide underscore above underscore simple all right control s to save this now let's try to run it down here and now if we swipe it doesn't affect our bottom corner all right so if we click outside our nav is dismissed all right so that is how the navigation drawer works in your python file now let's quickly take a look at how we can use this in our kv file all right so we are simply going to delete all of this control s to save now let's create nav demo here so nav demo dot kv and hit enter obviously we want to start with our root widget so nav demo window all right and now let's start with our anim type and this is going to be slide underscore above underscore simple all right now let's add our content and our swipe animation all right our swipe menu sorry so orientation for this is going to be vertical another box layout orientation for this is going to be vertical so this is our content so let's just add our label and button back so label text for our label is going to be equal to nav demo all right and let's color this so color is going to be equal to zero 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 one now it's canvas dot before this and change the color so the rgba value of this color is going to be white all right so now with that done we can then create a rectangle and self dot position oops position is equal to self dot position size is equal to self dot size all right so we can now simply copy all of this cut it actually all right because we need this to be in this box layout and make sure we indent correctly here so tap this out just like that and now let's add our button all right so the text for this button is going to be submit the size hint for this button y is going to be none and finally the height for this button is going to be 35 all right control us to save now let's add our content back all right so let's just add a box layout and in this box layout we are going to need orientation of course and it's going to be vertical all right now i'm going to do something really crazy here and this is going to be a pro tip for you guys so I'll just add a box layout inside that box layout all right and i don't need any of that so I'll just add a canvas dot after this time all right and in here i am going to add a color and this color really doesn't matter 
in RGBA color of white. All right. And then I am going to add an ellipse into this canvas. All right. And I'll say the size of this is going to be. Uh, actually, I'll just give this box layout a sir an ID. All right. So that I can reference this pretty easily. And I'll just say avatar. Maybe ava. All right. So now the size of this is going to be av dot size all right and i want zero and i want for the height to be the same size again all right because i want a smooth circle and the position of course is going to be self dot position and now the most important item here is going to be the source and the source i'm just going to pick an image here like this one copy that paste it in here all right now watch what happens when we run this now I'll just add a label all right and this label is going to have some text and the text is going to be my twitter handle so that will be silver hash all right and i'll add a size underscore hint underscore y of 0.05 and now for our box layout up here I'll add a size underscore hint underscore y of 0.95. All right. So now that we have all of that juicy stuff, let's add the rest of our stuff. All right. So orientation is okay as vertical. And the next thing we want to add, of course, is our buttons. So button text is going to be equal to button. All right, and the size underscore hint underscore y is going to be 0.1. Now let's just copy this button, all right, and paste it down here. And change this to 0.7, change this to nothing. And here I'll add a label, all right, so this is going to be our spacer label. Control us to save this and we are done. The next thing we want to do here is simply copy all of this stuff, all right? Copy all of that. Go back here and make sure the color is changed to white, all right? So, to black, sorry. And now for our box layout, our top box layout here, we're going to add these rules. Control us to save. Now let's go down here and run this again. And now if we swipe, check it out. We have our avatar here and our button. All right. So that is it. Now I'll just add some spacing, you know, just cause we can. So spacing is equal to 10. Control us to save maybe i'll add yep 10 is okay now another thing we can do is we can actually open this navigation drawer by not swiping here all right so how we can do just that is let me demonstrate here on our box layout right up here let's add a button all right and give this one some text and the text for this one is simply going to be a plus sign all right and i'm going to size this so size underscore hint and i'll just say none none all right now i'll size this all right so i'll just give this one 45 45 and now i'm going to say on underscore release all right and we need a way to get this all right so down here let's give this an id and we'll call this main underscore win let's go back to our button here and we'll simply say main underscore win dot and this is the juice right here toggle underscore state like this all right control us to save this button now let's go down here and run this and here is our button now if you click this button we get our navigation drawer click outside and our navigation drawer is gone all right 
So that is it. Any questions, do not hesitate to ask. Otherwise, leave a like if you like this video. Share it if you liked it, of course. Otherwise, guys, I'll see you in the next one.